Welcome back to the channel guys, let's get into it. Special shout out to Amaya Cruz for finding last week's hidden character. Back to back wins girl, I see you. <laughs> for this week guys, it's going to be a hidden character from Rugrats hidden throughout the clips. Same rules apply, first a comment down below the name of the character with the correct timestamp. Gets a shout out for next week's video. Let's get it. We're back this week with an official Battlefield 2042 review for you guys. And I'm just going to kick things off with the negatives because it's a lot. So first on the list is the minimap. Now, when it comes to the minimap in Battlefield 2042, you pop it open and this happens. It covers your entire screen and you don't know where you're going. I absolutely hate it. Okay. Now, I compare it to Battlefield 5 and look how beautiful it is. It's on the corner. It's transparent and you know where you're going. You, you can see what's in front of you. As someone who always emphasizes looking at your minimap when you guys are playing, I think this is a very crucial thing that they need to fix because it's annoying, trust me, okay? And now another annoying thing that they need to do is fix the mobility aspect of the game. I don't want to be stuck two, three hours trying to hop over some rocks or hop over anything and, and then I end up getting shot and clapped and I die. It's so aggravating in terms of this aspect of mobility. And then another thing would be the slide in terms of mobility. I hate the sliding in Battlefield 2042. You have to run, slide, and then stop. Run, slide, stop. Like, why? Look at look at Battlefield 5 right here to the left. There is no stoppage whatsoever. I'm constantly running, and it's just way more easier and just smoother. Okay, now you might be asking, Santi, why are you running so much? Why don't you use a vehicle? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, okay? Because another segue to the vehicles aspect of the game in which they need to fix. I don't want to be using vehicles in this game and then one little bump turns into into this world war three and i have to worry about my damn vehicle exploding or something the they definitely fixed it in the last patch a little bit but clearly as you guys can see it needs more work okay i'm over here driving around and i'm over here look at this i'm slipping and sliding like a like some like a mario kart peels on the floor like it's ridiculous they need to fix it and yeah, that's all I can say. They need to fix it, okay? Now, talking about the vehicles as well, the game does give you many options for vehicles, as you guys can see here, the, the list that I have right here that it shows. But in my opinion, having all these options, it's it backfires on this because there's literally so many vehicles on the map, it's just, it's way too accessible. You're running and you turn to the left, there's a vehicle. You turn to the right, there's a vehicle. You look behind you, there's a vehicle. You, you look in front of you, there's a vehicle. The vehicles are way too accessible in this game and I honestly do not like it because your deaths skyrocket in this game because of that, okay? So with that being said, for those newcomers playing into the game, I highly suggest when you're running, have some type of explosive with you, to be honest, because you're gonna need it, okay? And speaking of the explosives or rockets, we can talk about the guns in the game. And I've just come to the conclusion that all the guns, to be honest, they're all they all suck. OK, there's no sugarcoating it. They're just all ass. OK, now I don't I'm not one to snipe, so I can't talk about the snipers, but the SMGs and the LMGs and the ARs and all that, they're just so bad. So my the best advice I can give you guys is just find a gun that you're OK with and then just grind it out and just pray to be honest just pray that you get used to that the, the horrible recoils that the, these guns have to be honest that's all i can say about the guns aspect of the game and with guns come specialists and i know there's been a lot of controversy behind the specialists and why did they stray from the original support recon engineer and medic class but in my opinion i feel like i'm kind of 50 50 on this just because i see where they're coming from i'm on that side as well but on the other hand, this is 2042, so obviously it's in the future, so I can, you know, appreciate the new aspects of what each character brings, and hey, hey, Santiago, okay, <laughs> shout out to Battlefield. Um, anyways, but yeah, you know, everybody has their own specialty and trait, which I think is kind of cool, so I don't mind it too much. It is kind of a bittersweet feeling, because like I said before, I'm kind of used to everybody having their own thing, your own role within your squad but it's 2042 we're in the future so it is what it is now me personally i use mckay because like i can just pull up i'm an aggressive player so i look at this i can pull up on people over here camping and just clap them like 
I love that feeling. That's one of the best feelings of using McKay, in my opinion. That's why I use him, like, consistently. So those are my two cents regarding the specialists in Battlefield 2042. To each their own, to be honest, but I basically covered the major aspects of what I feel like they need to fix ASAP in the game. And the last two things I want to touch up on are kind of like the smaller things, and that's in the beginning and the end of the game. Now, when it comes to the beginning of the game, as you guys saw, as soon as you press play, the game just starts. There's no selection of, you know, lobby or whatever compared to Battlefield 5. You have a whole list of lobbies to choose from. I personally don't like how Battlefield 2042 doesn't have that. I wish they did. So that's one of the few smaller things I wish that they can fix. And then the last small thing would be in the end, which would be the scoreboard. Battlefield 2042 at the end, there is no scoreboard. Or at least there kind of is, but it doesn't show you the stats. And at the end, you have to you have to hold start to see the scoreboard and all that. I don't like that. Just stick to the original like Battlefield 5 and just show your stats at the end and show the scoreboard at the end where everybody i don't know if they're trying to you know spare these these people who are ass of the game there's feelings because they're ass and they don't want you know everybody to see that they're going oh and 20 but i know stick to the original with the scoreboard please like honestly but those are the last two things that i have in mind regarding what they need to fix in the game or change but besides that guys in my honest opinion i feel like the game it has potential so are you, if you're wondering, should I get the game, should I not? As of right now, I feel like, yes, you should get the game. Now, for those, including myself, for those who got the game when it first launched, yeah, we got finesse, $70, we got finesse. But now I believe it's cheaper and stuff, but it definitely shows potential. And it, I mean, look at the maps. The maps are nice, you know, they're beautiful, a little too big, but they're nice maps and it's 2042, it's in the future, guys. So just give it a chance and Another thing that just reminded me in terms of the maps, they need to give us more maps. I'm sorry, I said that was the last one, but this is the last negative. The game needs to give us more maps. It's just too repetitive at this point, but okay, going back to the positive. Now, yes, the game shows promise, guys. If you want to play it, I recommend, yes, play it. Because as of, as of right now, because of the patches, they have improved the game. So let's just hope and pray that, you know, with these upcoming patches, I believe they're dropping a new patch next month, that it improves the game even more. So. Final verdict, yes. The game shows potential. Play it now. But I hope you guys liked my review for Battlefield 2042. I am going to start playing 2042. So we'll see how that goes. Pray for me, guys. But as always, guys, like I always say, make sure to be back next week for another video. Peace.